Okay, welcome to the virtual FCS tutorial series. This is tutorial 1.1, the first tutorial in the first release. And in this video, we'll be discussing the uh, installation of the virtual FCS library and some first steps with Open Modelica. The first thing we need to do to get started is install Open Modelica. To do that, we can come to the website, openmodelica.org. And uh, this brings us to the home page where you can read more about Open Modelica and also find some additional resources. But today we want to download it. So let's come up here to download and we see there are options for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Uh, but let's go to Windows and here you can choose which version you would like to install. Uh, the development of Virtual FCS was done in version 1.14. So to find uh, previous releases, we can come down here and click on Repository. So here are all the uh, previous releases, and we can click on 1.14 and Final 64-bit, and here you'll find all of the files that you need for the installation. It's worth noting that the uh, .exe file is fairly large; it's 1.3 gigabytes. So you might want to plan some extra time to uh, download and install it. Uh, Virtual FCS will also work with later versions of Open Modelica. Uh, in the later versions, there were some issues uh, regarding the fluid components. I think Open Modelica has fixed it in the meantime, uh, but just to be on the safe side, I'd recommend installing version 1.14. So once uh, that's done, the next step is to install the Virtual FCS library. To do that, we can come to GitHub and uh, either go to the uh, URL listed here or uh, just go to github.com and search for Virtual FCS. You should be able to find it. And uh, if we want to download the code, we can come over here to this big green button that says code and click on that. Now there are a couple of different options we can use to download the Virtual FCS library. Uh, if you're familiar with Git and comfortable using that, then you can just clone it directly to your desktop. And uh, that's the best option uh, to be sure that you always have the latest release and if you want to contribute in any way to the development. Uh, but if you're not comfortable with Git, you can also just download a zip file and unzip it to somewhere on your desktop. So for me, uh, I have it uh, saved in Documents, GitHub, Virtual FCS, and uh, here you'll see in my File Explorer, I have all of the files here that are included in the uh, Virtual FCS repository. After we've downloaded the code from the Virtual FCS repository, uh, the next step is to open the Open Modelica Connection Editor. And when we do that, uh, we'll see a window that, that looks something like this. So we can have a look through this and start getting a feel for how to navigate the uh, connection editor. First, uh, over here on the left is the libraries browser. And this contains all of the uh, components and the blocks that are available to you uh, to use in your, in your model development. And by default, uh, the Modelica standard library is loaded. So this comes with uh, a lot of very helpful models for uh, basic electrical components, basic, basic thermal components, fluid uh, components. Uh, lots of very helpful uh, fundamental uh, models to use in, in model building. Continuing to the right, uh, we have the Messages browser. Uh, and this is where different notifications or warnings or errors that may occur during the uh, model development will be shown. And uh, over here on the right, the Documentation browser. Now down at the bottom here, in the bottom right corner, we'll see a few tabs. And most of our work is going to be done in the Modeling tab, which is where the uh, model development and uh, setup and compiling uh, takes place, and the Plotting tab, which is where we can load in uh, the results of our simulations and do uh, some post-processing and, and visualization activities. Now that we're comfortable uh, with navigating the Open Modelica Connection Editor, we can look at how to load the Virtual FCS uh, library into our modeling environment. So to do that, we'll come up to the uh, Open icon, and we can just click on that, and navigate to uh, wherever it is that you either cloned or unzipped the Virtual FCS uh, code to. 
So I'll click in virtual FCS and here we can see there's some subfolders that contain things like control, uh, electrical, electrochemical, and so on. And all the way at the bottom, there's a file called package.mo. And that's the one that we want. So I'll just select that and say open. And there we go. We can see that virtual FCS uh, has been loaded into our libraries browser. And if I click on the little plus sign here to, to uh, expand it, we can see all of the different uh, categories for models that are included in that library. So if you are uh, just starting out, the best place to start is in the examples uh, category. And this contains some uh, example models that we prepared to demonstrate the basic functionality of virtual FCS. And it's also helpful uh, during your own model development to uh, do some troubleshooting uh, uh, activities. So that's the end of tutorial 1.1. Uh, in the next video, we will look at setting up a uh, basic uh, cycling simulation of a lithium-ion battery cell.